Have you ever heard of a plane landing safely after losing a huge chunk of its body in mid-air? Today we delve into the remarkable story of Aloha Airlines Flight 243. On a typical Hawaiian day, April 28, 1988, Aloha Airlines Flight 243 began its routine inter-island service. The aircraft, a well-serviced Boeing 737, was tasked with ferrying passengers from Hilo, on the big island of Hawaii, to the bustling city of Honolulu on Oahu. Let's set the scene. Imagine the plane, gleaming under the tropical sunshine, as it prepared for takeoff. The crew ran through their checklist, the engines hummed to life and soon the plane was soaring above the Pacific surrounded by an endless expanse of blue. The passengers, some locals, some tourists, settled in for what they thought would be an ordinary 40-minute flight. But as we know, it was anything but ordinary. The initial part of the flight was uneventful. The aircraft cruised at an altitude of 24,000 feet, the cabin filled with the soft hum of conversation and the occasional ding of the seatbelt sign. The flight attendants moved through the aisle, their smiles as warm as the Hawaiian sun outside. The cockpit was a picture of calm, the pilots expertly navigating the aircraft through the clear skies. And then, at approximately halfway through the journey, things took a turn. The plane was flying smoothly, the passengers relaxed, when out of the blue, the unimaginable happened. The aircraft experienced an explosive decompression. The sudden change in pressure was catastrophic, and the result was horrifying. A large chunk of the plane's roof, stretching from the cockpit all the way to the wings, was ripped away in an instant. And then, suddenly, a loud bang echoed through the cabin and a large part of the plane's roof was gone. Imagine the shock of the passengers and crew when a large part of the plane's roof simply ripped off. One moment, everyone was peacefully cruising along at 24,000 feet. The next, there was a deafening bang, and the world outside was suddenly, terrifyingly visible. Imagine the horror as an explosive decompression occurred. It was as if a giant, invisible hand had grabbed the top of the Boeing 737 and peeled it back like a tin can. The sudden change in pressure was so intense that it tore away a huge chunk of the plane's roof, right over the first-class section, and in an instant, the calm, controlled environment of the passenger cabin turned into a maelstrom of flying debris, screaming winds, and disoriented passengers. Caught in the fury of this decompression was flight attendant Clarabelle Lansing, who was standing near the fifth row. She was instantly swept out of the aircraft, the only fatality of this disaster. The shock and terror in the cabin were palpable, passengers gripped their armrests, praying for their lives as the cold, thin air of high altitude rushed in. The cockpit door was blown off its hinges, and the pilots, Captain Robert Schornsteimer and First Officer Madeline Tompkins, were faced with a gaping hole where the first-class cabin roof used to be. Amidst the cacophony and chaos, the pilots were initially disoriented, but they quickly realized they were in a grave situation that required their immediate attention and action. With the roar of the wind and the shaking of the plane, they fought to regain control. The rapid decompression had caused the aircraft to lose altitude swiftly. The pilots, relying on their training and experience, quickly donned their oxygen masks and began a steep, controlled descent to a safer altitude where breathable air was available. Despite the chaos, the pilot and co-pilot kept their cool, immediately taking actions to save everyone on board. They wrestled with the controls, fighting against the wind and the damaged plane, aiming for the closest airport which was Kahului on the island of Maui. With a gaping hole in the plane and a cabin full of terrified passengers, the crew faced an unimaginable challenge. Let's delve into the astonishing story of how the crew of Aloha Airlines Flight 243 managed to land the plane safely at Kahului Airport on Maui. Despite the extensive damage to the plane, the crew remained composed. Captain Robert Schornsteimer, an experienced pilot with over 17,000 flight hours, and First Officer Madeline Tompkins took charge of the situation. Their immediate task was to keep the plane airborne and navigate it to the nearest airport. The plane was now missing a vital part of its structure, and the aerodynamics were severely affected. The controls were not responding as they should, and the plane was losing altitude rapidly. The constant roaring wind and the chilling cold at that altitude were additional challenges. However, the crew was not deterred. They communicated with air traffic control, informing them of their dire situation and their intention to make an emergency landing at Kahului Airport. They worked together, using their collective skills and experience to keep the plane under control. They had to maintain a delicate balance, 
managing the plane's speed to prevent it from stalling, while also trying not to accelerate too much, which could lead to further structural damage. In the midst of this chaos, the flight attendants did their best to keep the passengers calm, reassuring them that they were doing everything possible to land safely. The approach to Kahului Airport was fraught with difficulties. The runway was not designed for a Boeing 737, and there were concerns about whether the damaged aircraft would be able to stop in time. But with careful maneuvering and skillful handling, the crew managed to bring the plane down safely. Against all odds, the crew managed to land the plane safely, saving the lives of 89 out of 90 people on board. The miracle landing of Aloha Airlines Flight 243 is a testament to the remarkable courage and skill of its crew, a story of survival against the odds that continues to inspire us all. The safe landing of Flight 243 was nothing short of a miracle, but the story didn't end there. In the aftermath of this harrowing event, an extensive investigation was launched to uncover the root cause of the incident. The National Transportation Safety Board, or the NTSB, took the lead, sifting through the remains of the aircraft and interviewing the crew and passengers. Their findings were as shocking as the incident itself. The investigation revealed the decompression was caused by a silent and insidious killer in aviation, metal fatigue. Over time the repetitive stress of takeoffs and landings had caused tiny cracks to form in the plane's structure. These cracks, invisible to the naked eye, gradually grew, weakening the integrity of the aircraft's fuselage. On that fateful day in April, the fuselage finally gave way, resulting in the explosive decompression. The NTSB also found that the maintenance of the aircraft had been inadequate. Routine inspections had missed these growing cracks, a fact that led to a serious reflection on the part of the aviation industry. Could this tragedy have been prevented with more thorough inspections? The answer was a resounding yes. Consequently, the incident led to sweeping changes in aviation regulations. The Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA, introduced more stringent checks for aging aircraft. These included enhanced structural inspections, aimed at identifying and addressing metal fatigue before it could lead to disaster. The FAA also mandated more frequent maintenance and stricter oversight of maintenance procedures. The story of Aloha Airlines Flight 243 is not just a tale of survival, but a testament to the aviation industry's commitment to learning from its mistakes. The changes implemented in the aftermath of this incident have undoubtedly prevented similar tragedies, making air travel safer for all. The incident served as a wake-up call, leading to significant improvements in aviation safety. So what makes the story of Aloha Airlines Flight 243 so significant? Well, it's not just a tale of survival against the odds. It's a pivotal moment in aviation history that changed the way we view aircraft safety and maintenance. The incident was a stark reminder that planes, like any machine, can deteriorate with age and use. In the case of Flight 243, the aircraft was 20 years old, and had completed over 35,000 short frequent flights. This intense schedule put considerable strain on the aircraft's structure, leading to the catastrophic metal fatigue that caused the explosive decompression mid-flight. This tragic event underscored the importance of regular, thorough inspection and maintenance of aircraft, particularly older models subjected to high-frequency usage. It led to a significant overhaul in the way airlines and aviation authorities approach aircraft safety. New standards were implemented for regular inspections and maintenance. These standards have undoubtedly prevented countless potential incidents since then, making the skies safer for us all. Moreover, the story of Flight 243 is also a testament to the incredible skill and composure of the flight crew. Despite facing a situation that would be unimaginable to most, they managed to land the severely damaged aircraft, saving the lives of the majority of those on board. Their actions serve as a shining example of the importance of training, preparedness, and the ability to remain calm under pressure. The incident also highlighted the significant role of the cabin crew in ensuring passenger safety. The lone fatality was a flight attendant who was standing when the decompression occurred. This led to renewed emphasis on flight attendant safety procedures, further enhancing overall safety in the aviation industry. Despite the tragedy, the story of Flight 243 serves as a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit and the importance of safety in aviation. It's a story of heroism, survival, and the continuous strive for improvement in an industry that connects us all.